All right, guys. This right here, this setup, is Toyota B networking for the MR2 Spider. Um, so in the anytime you swap out the engine controller on here, um, you lose the coolant temperature gauge as well as the alternator light, uh, that red one that's lit right now. Um, and actually, this demo right now only does the coolant temperature action. I'm not sure which message does the alternator light, but that's the easy part to figure out. Um, anyways, I have uh, an 11C24 microcontroller here. This is just a dev board to make things easier. Um, all the components that are just kind of flying off the board right now is the uh, bean transmit and receive circuit. Um, I ended up making something that looks nothing like the recommended circuit in the SAE paper. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I'll probably go to something a lot closer to the SAE paper for the final version, but uh, this proof of concept works. Um, anyways, you can see, so you can see there's there's motion in the gauge. There's actually a couple dead spots. Um, the gauge is non-linear, like the spot it's in right now is a spot that it really likes to be. There's a whole lot of values that are right around there and it'll start moving. Um, the code is actually moving it at a fixed pace right now, but there you go. Now you can see it's it's moving well, um, and you'll see here full deflection in just a second. Um, after about right about this point right here, it really starts to take off. I actually have the code slowing down to a quarter of the speed it, it's sending for the rest of the range because there's basically no resolution up here, um, which makes sense. I mean, once you're overheating, you're overheating. Um, you just want the gauge to go to full deflection. Um, so anyways, there it goes. Oh, you'll also see the motion is not very smooth when you're making large step changes, like going from full hot to full cold. Um, yeah, see that that jerkiness? That's not something that I'm commanding. Um, but again, that really doesn't matter. If your car's doing that, the fact that the gauge is not smooth really doesn't matter. Um, anyways, the uh, here's the signals I'm sending. On top in yellow is the... Um, the transmit on the bottom is the receive. Uh, specifically on this side is what the cluster is sending out and this is what I'm sending out. Um, and the interesting part to note is, let's see, uh, if we go down to this, you can see there's an extra little blip right there. That's the acknowledgement from the cluster saying, hey, I've received your message and I'm happy with it. Um, so anyways, I got some, and this is all a bunch of temporary code, I got some more to figure out, uh, including what makes that alternator light come on and off, but at this point, the proof of concept works, and I'm thrilled. Alright, have a great day.